Hello everyone, this is Ace Stocky here. Welcome to another episode of me playing the Technics pack of Minecraft. Um, today I've decided that I have done lots and lots of, well, staying around here and building a base and things like that. So I've decided that this time what I am going to do is going to just first of all get rid of as much of my stuff as I can. And I'm going to make myself a mining drill to go with my now fully charged nano sword. And yeah, I'm going to make one of these. And then I'm going to take it and I'm going to head off to the mines. I'm just going to turn that off while I'm gone. And I am going to explore. I'm going to try and find some diamonds the old fashioned way, see if I can kill some mobs. Hopefully if I get a little bit lucky I might even find a dungeon. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get everything ready to build my mining drill and I'll be back in a few moments when I'm ready to, to build it. Okay, welcome back. I now have everything that I should need. I have my battery, my electronic circuit, my five pieces of refined iron, or in this case my steel because steel works just as well. And I now have a mining drill. So now I should be able to not have to worry about a lot of this stuff. Um, oh, done. It's full. I think I'm going to need to make another chest. Um, no, nah, I'm not really carrying anything good, so it doesn't really matter if I die. Um, hopefully I can charge this mining drill in here. Should charge up quick smart. What are we doing? Yeah, not too bad. Sorry, how are we going for power there? still doing its thing. I think I worked out that based on some of the numbers in the wiki that about three and a half units of power per tick should be enough for that. So I think I probably would have been better off just running copper cable the whole way. But I really needed this MFE anyway and it seems to be the best way to keep things charged. So I'm going to head off now and I'm going to explore. I will pause the video until I find something good. So if I find a good mob or I find a good vein of resources or something like that, I'll unpause the video and show you guys what I find. Back soon. Hello, back again. I got like three steps in here and I've already found a piece of uranium. So I don't know that uranium ooh, is actually on the list of you know super good things that I really need to keep pausing the video to show you. But I thought I would anyway, because you know, uranium is supposed to be one of those really rare resources. So here we go, uranium. Pause the video again and I'll be back soon. Awesome guys, I think I've hit the, um, the mother load. Coming over this way and we have diamond. And then I was just clearing it out to make sure nothing got me while I was recording the video bit. And we have bucket loads of redstone and emerald. And then over here... Everybody knows what cobblestone means, and from the sounds of things, it means spiders. Lots of spiders, so a spider spawner, and then more redstone, and then some nickelite, so we have some seriously good stuff here. Let's just start with the redstone. Hopefully that's tin, because I think I'm actually running out of tin. Uh, yep, it was tin. Awesome. Yeah, tin is good because you can you end up using it in all your batteries and lots of different things you make use tin so until they update equivalent exchange because the current version of equivalent exchange is supposed to enable you to be able to get things from industrial craft and make them with equivalent exchange but it's not working at the moment so in, until that's updated and actually starts working what we are left with unfortunately is basically having to get things the manual way and tin is a pretty common ore so hopefully my mining drill is up there getting lots of it but just in case it's not I like to try and get as much tin as I can whenever I find it I'm finding a lot of silver as well so I think yeah these should be tin 11 tin 12 tin, yeah, so these are tin, and I think if it looks like it's got a bit more wire in it, that's when it's silver. 
but it's pretty difficult to tell. I'm kind of stalling at the moment, aren't I? Because there's diamonds over there. I'm a little nervous though, I don't want to see how big the diamond vein is, because I'm concerned it'll be a small one. Well, I can see two diamonds, so that's probably a good thing. Hopefully there's some more underneath. Awesome! Yeah, actually, what I might do is just whack all around it. Because I know I've seen some of these before where there's some diamonds somewhere else just on the corner of the box that you were taking out. Uh, turned out not to be the case here. While I'm here, I might as well get a bit of iron. And I'm not sure if I've mentioned it or not in my videos, but I love these drills. Even this most basic drill. I'm only getting one nickelite drop for each piece though. I thought nickelite was supposed to be like redstone where you get four or five drop for each piece you did. Maybe it's a... I don't know, maybe it's a bug with the drill. It seems to be dropping the right amount of redstone. Maybe I'm just not having good luck. And I'm averaging one drop. Or a drops of one. I got a way out. Wow. Loads of redstone. Don't actually need any redstone, so that's not good to get loads of redstone. Um, you will die now. Oh no! Thought there was the sound of lava down there. What I need to do is I need to try and see if I can reach in and light this place up a bit. And then my loads of cobblestone fill this in really quickly so that I don't end up sitting in the lava there we go now a few more torches you know standard thing lay your torches out uh, iron oh redstone string cocoa beans actually that's pretty cool cocoa beans are really rare and there's a part of thermcraft that allows you to do like a duplication of any item that you find so I should be able to just stick the cocoa beans in and it should it should duplicate them and turn them into lots more cocoa beans but I'm going to mark this spot and remember this place and I'm going to come back I've got 15 levels of experience already but I'm going to come back and build some kind of mob spawner trap where it just kind of pushes the spiders to me and I can kill them because hopefully that will allow me to fulfill the Tale of Kingdoms part of this where you've got a I'm not really sure what you have to do. I think you just have to kill lots of mobs. And once you've killed lots of mobs, you end up getting to build your own kingdom. And that's gonna be the cool bit. That's that's the kind of thing that I want to do. Because then I'm gonna build my own kingdom and then I'm gonna build some super cool machines and build a permanent base there. But just for now, I found three diamonds already in a dungeon, so I'm feeling good about this trip, so what I might do is I might just keep you know, messing around, finding some stuff and I'll keep going until I run out of drill power. So I'm going to pause the video again and I'll be back soon. Okay everyone, I'm back. It looks as though I have got lucky and I have found... I'm just going to try and block this water off for a second because it's a giant pain in the behind. So yes, I have found some more diamond. So I'm just going to casually work my way over there. And I've also found a giant ravine. Whoops, where'd that happen? Heard someone shooting at me and then dying. For those of you who aren't totally sure yet, this is actually the same seed as the Take It Let's Play multiplayer server. The only difference with this is I've spawned in a totally different location and because of the Taylor Kingdom stuff and some of the other mods that are installed, the surface looks quite different so it's it's kind of been... Well, I guess it, it's very different so a lot of the caves and ravines and things and a lot of the stuff that you would see in the standard map just aren't in the positions that they would normally be in so 
now that I've found this ravine, I kind of know where things are and kind of have a bit of an idea around, so I think I know where some more diamonds are. So I'm going to go for a bit of an explore, and I think there's a stack of diamonds just waiting for me to find them. So I'll be back in a moment once I've, I'm a bit closer and once I've got them. Hello, so once again I'm back, and it turns out that this is the same spot I found the diamond in the last one and, it, and it's here again so obviously the the spawn spots for the different ores and things are unchanged even though the spawn spots on the surface and the way things look are quite different so got just a tiny little bit of power left in my drill so I'm going to gather these diamonds and then I'm going to head back to the surface I actually have a huge plan yet for what I'm going to make with them but I'm thinking that in the next episode I'm going to make some nano armor because you need lots and lots and lots of coal and lots of redstone to make nano armor so I'm thinking that that would be the perfect thing for me to make and not a moment too soon my drill power is down to red so awesome expedition here 13 diamonds so if you will bear with me and hold on for a moment I'll meet you back at the surface well that was rather complicated and convoluted it turns out I haven't been sticking with my plan for putting torches on the same side the whole way down so I got very incredibly lost on the way down and just as lost on the way back up Ooh, 20 Mobius fuel hey already got I left it didn't I yes I did and I left it because I've got no space with which to take it so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to do a quick recap of what I collected on that trip so I collected Oh, sorry, what I collected. Um, I didn't get it. I uh, got 10 iron ore, 7 copper ore, 17 tin, 5 silver, 18 nickelite, some emerald, lots and lots and lots of redstone, which is good. 2 obsidian that I got from a, a ogre that I killed. 13 diamonds, and I ran out of mining drill power. I also used a bit of sword power as well, because for some reason... I seem to meet a lot of bad guys down there, but thankfully one fully charged nano saber equals just about everything dead, super quick smart, so I'm going to build another chest in the next episode, and then I'm going to start to make some really good stuff out of these things that I have here. First of all though, I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to get lots of coal, because two coal is just nowhere near enough for what I have planned because I plan to make some good nano armor and nano armor needs lots and lots and lots of coal dust so whack the coal in there two pieces of iron that only got me 12 coal that's not enough uh, one can't hurt can it I don't know how much coal I'm going to need but I'm thinking one stack of 64 ought to be perfect and then I can just run the macerator long time and see what comes out of it. Seems like a real waste of a diamond, but in here I have you know, about every six or eight stacks is a diamond, so I've probably got four or five diamond in there if I can be bothered to convert them. Whoa! Okay, I'm sure I had a wall here when I left. Um, that That's going to be a problem. I'm thinking that it might have been... Uh, that doesn't even work. I'm thinking that this lava under here can actually set things on fire. And I'm thinking that might be what happened, that my lava... You stupid skeleton, I'm making a video. Yeah, I'm thinking that that lava might have set the wood that was there on fire. So, hopefully that won't happen again. And now that's really ugly, so I'm going to have to rebuild this. 
I've got a plan to put half stone sort of slabs around the edge to make it into a bit of a perimeter. So I think I'll have to do that in the next episode as well. But I'm also going to turn all of this coal into coal dust and turn this coal dust that I have I'm just going to come over here where it's a bit quieter I'm going to turn this coal dust that I do have um, every four pieces of it makes me some of these and then every two of these makes me some carbon sheets so that's four carbon sheets which would be enough I think four carbon sheets will be enough to make me a helmet. So that means I need like uh, seven and six and five times eight. So lots and lots more. So even 64 might not be enough. But I guess we'll see how we go in the next video. Thanks very much for watching. A stocky out.